guys just a short video uh this is the new uh, zonda evil twin it's the cheap ass version from banggood um, but it's not very cheap anymore actually it's the version 2 from banggood which is very good they relocated the escs uh, uh, and they've relocated the motors so i believe in the version 1 the escs were further forward and the no the motors were further forward and the escs were further forward now they've relocated them to a better position they've got a better mounting tray for the electronics um, and a better mounting for the motors give you more battery space um, but i will say you have to go over these things this is not like sticking your um you can't simply stick your radio gear in and go. You need to check everything I learned with this. When this arrived, um, of course, you need to put in your radio gear. You need to put in your servo. Uh, but at the same time, the um, the single uh, hookup for the water was completely blocked one side. So they'd put the, 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 the triangular splitter on the wrong way. Uh, luckily, I was only running 3S on each side with the with the 120 amp ESCs um uh, all stock uh before i realized that so there wasn't actually that much higher temp uh, high of a temperature um so you need to check that the uh cooling system is working and by that i just normally get the pipe in my mouth cover the end and blow down it and see what's going on i work by doing that i worked out that this uh, motor jacket also leaked which i fixed just with a bit of grease and just worked the seals a bit um you saw from the last video that it was a bit uh it was a bit stately <laughs> it was uh, i was only running 3s and then 4s on each side um but i wanted to do that before i made the upgrades that i have made um it comes with a much uh one well, the same size rudder but not as deep so this is a rudder from offshore electrics dual pickup i put in a dual pickup simply blocked off the old one otherwise you're left with a ruddy great hole to fill in the boat um i've added two 120 amp escs a 20 kg uh, servo um i've just tidied up the wires a little bit uh i've put on some new piping up to the escs uh i've put on some new battery straps because it comes with like resettable uh cable ties they're they're okay they serve a purpose but uh but uh, I've got battery straps now um, and uh, the motors, I mean, check everything, but the motors came and they were loose on the motor mounts. If I'd run it, uh, I re-greased both uh, flex shafts as well, half shafts, um, because they were also bone dry. So do not run it out the box. Go over it with a fine tooth comb. Her name is Evil Twin. As you can see, Zonda Evil Twin. 220 amp ESC stock motors I the next running video is going to be at full whack uh, two times 6,000 milliamp per hour 3s batteries each side so 12,000 milliamp per hours each side uh, making a 12s total uh, so we should should rip really um, overall I'm super pleased the value on these things is um, I think unbeatable uh, the hull is the same, exactly the same as the carbon fiber hull. They do do a carbon Kevlar inlay now, which you can see it's stiff. Uh, it's uh, strong. Uh, I've drilled through it now and it's in a much better shape than this. I mean, this you guys asking me where I've been. This has literally taken years off my life. This is my old Velas that I was simply doing up. I took some of the uh, decals off. They took the crap probo paint straight off. So I said, oh, I'll knock it back and I'll paint it up. Knocking it back um, has been challenging. I didn't knock it back to bare at the beginning. I just knocked it back a wee bit, resprayed it and then did some lacquering. The lacquering didn't work. I don't know why. Um, so I had to uh, use uh, wire wool and uh, pure alcohol rub to get rid of the... Uh, to get rid of the lacquer, which then decided to go hard uh, with the alcohol. I mean, it was a nightmare. Uh, rubbing it back to bare now, it's exposed loads of holes 
loads of air holes in the in the um in the uh in the top in the top layer um in the grp or whatever they put over the top of the um over the top of the fiberglass um so yeah just just been a total mare i'm so close to chucking it away but anyway it will look cool i've put in dual water pickups uh dual water pickup at the back dual water outlets either side so so that's been happening uh the um goldfinger goldfinger got a new lick of paint and some lacquer actually worked on this one which was a bonus um, and goldfinger has got everything new in her uh, that is a new tp motor uh with a new uh high tech is it high tech no turner g uh 25 i think kg servo um everything is is running weirdly actually i'm not going to lie I also put a new uh, stinger on the back there, and that is a Das Boote prop. Don't want to show you that too much. Cheeky, cheeky. Uh, that's a Das Boote prop, which I'm going to try out. I had a different prop on. It was not the right prop for the machine, but I was getting a lot of weird engine noise, a lot of sort of over revving, bad, 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 like a rev limiter on a, on a petrol car or on a bike, you know? Um, and it would not go up to full whack. So I also had a water leak in there, so I fixed that um on the coolant system so you know hopefully that'll run that really didn't run yesterday i was going to film that yesterday um uh, very proudly and it ran like a sack it was just terrible filled up with water and overheated engine and cooling problems and and wrong prop and everything so so that's been going wrong that's been going wrong this has yet to kind of go wrong but i don't think it will evil twin will come up trumps and uh the big kahuna burger thunder child is still there guys i will do it in my own sweet time but mind you whilst you are here this was meant to be a short video but i have to show you guys this this is ridiculous this is the motor for the evil twin it has arrived ah come on one-handed one-handed disaster one-handed youtube disaster check i mean I, I can't even i can't even really put it into words so it's 10 centimeters long uh 58 5.8 centimeters wide 58 mil it is the uh the 1070 kv motor capable of uh, 16s i believe i'm going to be running it on 12s a genuinely genuine 12s through a single uh, 300 amp esc but it's a monster that is going to power that bad boy to pretty incredible speed and performance hopefully anyway i'll put it back in there that's the box of that's the box of bits man i've almost done a kind of workshop tour this is where the magic happens dudes this is my little uh, corner of the world where kids and wives are not allowed. I used to do a ton of shooting crossbows up there. Uh, still do some, some shooting, but uh, only really bigger stuff these days. Uh, but uh, the boats are the passion. The boats are the passion. And the evil twin is the next one. Evil twin is the next one out of the stable. Next video will be some running videos, I promise, of the Zonda Evil Twin and the Spartan Goldfinger.